monsters. Hmm. Could prove useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. We'll be an indeed explosion. I think you better hurry. Leaving this is scarred ahead. Hey guys, it's Mel, and I'm back with another build in Anthem for the Colossus. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my Tempest build version of the Colossus. Uh, what this build's going to be fundamentally doing is it's going to be using all the elements possible on a Colossus. And you may be shocked, it's like, how can you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. First off, we're going to go to the Orange Launcher. Orange Launcher, I'm going to pick it up to uh, Volcanic Dome, which is the upgraded version of Shock Coil. Uh, freezes enemies once it's hit. From there, it's just gonna get more interesting. Heavy Assault Launcher. I picked up the Solvian Green. Venom Spitter, it's an upgraded version. And plus, while it throws glops of acid at people, while having this equipped, it deals, uh, gives you 200% more uh, damage to combos. So right there alone, it's gonna set you up for a nice combo. Freeze. Slam, combo. Acid, you know, put them on fire. Slam, combo. From there, from the weapons, I picked up Raynor's Blaze. Yes, I have a legendary version of it. Uh, pretty much what this does is if you maintain, keep hitting the same enemy five times, they get caught on fire. They ignite, burst into flames, off with their head. Uh, from there, I picked up Insult Injury. This is mainly support style. Uh, because I want the shield max, I want support speed, I want armor, and it gives me a nice little harvest bonus, so when you're doing your little runs and stuff, you might be able to get some more materials. So, harvest speed helps. Uh, from there, support gear. I went with shield pulse. I like shield pulse more than I like battle cry, because shield pulse reduces your damage, as well as for your allies. But if you get a really good, nice subtext, like uh, this one, for instance, I have my left bumper, actually gets more 20% CDR. On top of it, I get 23% luck, and I get a little ammo drop rate. So that would actually help my assault rifle. From there, for my components, uh, this is going to get fun. This version, I took this uh, shock tribute, which increases my ordnance launcher by 5%. But when I take damage, all my damage is increased for 10 seconds, but that stacks. So that gives me even more power to do some more crazy combos, set up gear damage, X, Y, and Z. From there, I picked up the maximum ammo captive for my assault rifle and my grenade launcher. But from there, also when you hit with a status effect, that will also increase all your gear damage by 40%. So that means your heavy assault, your Orange launcher, you know, that's just, that's more damage to you. Like, that's, and it, you know, with the Masterworks, it increases your armor drastically, as well as your shield reinforcement drastically as well. Uh, from there, I also picked up Vanguard Emblem, which increases my electric and fire damage. So if I'm running around with my shield, you know, they get a nice little more damage on top of it. So it's a nice little explosion. So it might actually trigger if someone's uh, frozen and whatnot, and you're, you're just running around, your shield breaks. That just hits off another combo. From there, I also picked up Heavy Shield Reinforcement. You need this gives me acid uh, acid effects so it increases my venom spitters so it gives a better effect on the enemies that are doing it on top of it I got ultimate speed so I might get my ult I'll get my ultimate just a little bit sooner than I usually would and from there I picked up my assault rifle ammo because it increases my assault rifle damage baseline by 15% but on top with these subtext my right barber does 20% more damage on top of it I get 20% animal damage animal damage will cover Acid, lightning, cold, and fire. This is literally just giving you everything to play with on top of with your ultimate. This build alone is fun. I mean, just fun. I was trying to find ways to make Venom Spitter work. I kind of found out this way actually makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, literally. Because you can't just rely on making a build around you know, your your Venom Spitter. Uh, unfortunately, it, I tried, and just to stack so much acid effect or acid damage, I said, you know what? Let's try to change this up, make it a little more universal. So with the Venom Spitter, can actually go on to your Shock Coil and do the freeze damage on top of it. So it's just, it, it's a continuous stack. So you're gonna have all 
the the aura effects on them uh, and it's just gonna stack you don't want to use fire on them because well it's gonna override the ice so they're gonna move around but they're still gonna take damage so it you have to set it up in ways where you'll have to hit one enemy with you know doing your five sh like five shots on them he'll burst in damage do the rest of them venom spitter shot coil venom spitter shot coil and you, and you know just keep doing it um i would definitely say on this build alone you want to make sure you have rb and lb cdr um not so much on the ultimate ultimate you want to save for bosses or very annoying crowds that uh, just keep going, keep going, like wave after wave, and you know how it's gonna end up or where they're gonna spawn. That's when you wanna use your ultimate. Uh, but with this, you wanna be mainly focused on trying to survive and just keep setting up combos for your teammates. If they already have a combo, add to it. If you wanna help them, smash your enemies that have the, uh, the aura, like freeze, electric, fire add to it uh seriously this build will definitely definitely do the trick uh but yeah this is the tempest build for colossus i will see you guys momentarily what about the scars near you see anything you spots of trouble near misses they're quite relentless Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. We'll get in game explosion. I think you better hurry. You're dealing with some scars ahead. One less for the thighs. That's good. Nearly there. We've reached the tunnel. You're close. Make 
Stay put. Keep him off you. Much appreciated. Where are they all coming from? Scars have too many ways to add to their numbers if needed. Be careful! I'm trying!
think we're done. Everyone's safe. These scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and scars often clash over shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please. I need to return to Fort Tarsus.